Live Center Live this Friday afternoon. I'm Bonnie Schneider. And I'm Nick Walker. David Alex is taking a much deserved three day weekend for good reason. The weather is going to be marvelous for most of the country this weekend, at least until Sunday. Absolutely. And coming up this hour, we're forecasting everything you need to know about the weekend. Plus, we're looking ahead to another East Coast storm early next week. But the big question is, will it be wet or white? The computer models still disagree on where the rain-snow line will be. It could be deja vu from last winter storm that brought rain and wind to New York and snow to Washington, D.C. Plus, there's the risk of severe weather in the South you need to know about. We'll show you what we know coming up. But we begin this hour with the ongoing fire danger. Look at the incredible video near Kansas City yesterday of Fire NATO in the flames. Firefighters from the Southern Platte Fire District caught it on camera as they battled a grass fire. It burned more than 1,300 acres. We have more amazing video from this fire coming up at 30 past the hour. See what it's like to be fighting the fire on the front lines from the point of view of a firefighter. You want to stick around for that. But right now, the windy conditions continue and the warmth is spreading into the Northeast. Bonnie, give us the details. Absolutely. We are looking at some very warm conditions. If we can go ahead and switch the maxes out, we'll show you what we're looking at. We've got some mild conditions that are creating, unfortunately, fire danger with low relative humidity and very strong wind gusts all across the northern plains and in the Midwest. You may have heard in the last hour talking about Chicago, very destructive winds happening at this area and even into South Dakota. The National Weather Service in Rapid City reported this morning, there was a wind gust in Buffalo, South Dakota of 83 miles per hour. Incredible. Here's the current wind speed. Chicago, very fierce at 41 miles per hour. Remember, gusts are going to be higher than that. And the temperatures are also soaring. We had record highs yesterday across the Midwest. Look for more of that warmth to spread across St. Louis. 73 degrees, already 70 in Kansas City. And the numbers will be on the way up. 61 for Detroit. Really incredible for February. As this warm air surges, the cold air stays to the north, the jet stream lifts up. We'll be getting that warm southerly flow and it'll just persist where temperatures will stay warm but further south. So in places like Texas and Louisiana, we'll maintain those warm temperatures, but the cold air will start to filter in, especially towards the end of the weekend and the start of next week. Look for highs through Sunday though, 10 to even 30 degrees above average. And that really is gonna be terrific all the way across the southeast into the northeast and back through the southwest. So this weekend, for, the, for a February weekend, it's not gonna be feeling like that at all. Here's a look at what you can expect tomorrow. Temperatures soaring into the 40s and even the 50s, close to 60 degrees in New York City. And by the time we get to Sunday, you're at 51, 60 in Washington. That sounds great. All these numbers well above average. If you're wondering how much in Washington, typically the high is 48 degrees. But look at the high tomorrow, 63. Wow. 60 on Sunday and 50 on Monday. So eventually we'll get back to normal and eventually get colder. But in the meantime, watch out for the critical fire conditions that are highlighted here in yellow and red. Nick? Now, our next big story involves what's happening next week in the East. Cities like Philadelphia and the entire I-95 corridor could be very close to that rain snow line. Meanwhile, it looks likely that places like Boone, North Carolina, up in the mountains are certain to see snow from this next storm. In fact, here are four things you need to know about next week's storm. Number one, the best chance for snow is from the central Appalachians to the interior northeast. Along the I-95 corridor, precipitation could start as snow, change to rain, and then maybe back to snow again. It all depends on the forecast track, which remains uncertain at this point. If the low gets stronger, there could be strong winds with a risk of blowing and drifting snow. And in the south, severe storms and tornadoes are possible as soon as Monday. Severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes takes a closer look coming up. But first, let's go into a few more details of this next big storm. And we keep telling you the jury's still out on the track of this, on the strength of it, and just how close that cold air and moisture are going to come together. They're a really a couple of scenarios shaping up. One would keep this a coastal storm so there would be snow a little bit closer to the coast as this is offshore a bit. Another one would be more of an inland storm, probably just skirting right along the east coast, but that would mean that the cold air is a little farther toward the west. So more of an inland storm in terms of snowfall. Nevertheless, we've got a couple of models that we're watching very closely that propose a couple of different solutions. 
and uh, they're getting farther apart instead of closer together, it seems like today. Hopefully, we can kind of merge them together in the days to come. But the European model basically makes this a more intense storm and sooner here for the mid-Atlantic and northward. And then we're going to see more of that snowfall in the inland areas, we think, and probably some rainfall there along the uh, I-95 corridor. The GFS model, the American model, has a little bit different take on this. It's similar, but it looks like the timing is going to be such that it'll be a little bit later, and so we won't see as in much intensity from the mid-Atlantic northward, and we'll probably find uh, just a very similar impact in terms of snow versus rain. So uh, there's a lot of unknowns about this. There's several days to come to kind of work this out, and hopefully we can get these models in a little bit more agreement in the days to come. But we are going to see an initial warm and moist flow here along the east, that warm moisture making its way up into the Carolinas and into the deep south before that cold air begins to infiltrate. And of course, where the cold air comes in contact with that moisture, that's where we're going to see that rain snow line. But right now, it looks like the I-95 corridor here up through the Carolinas, up through Virginia and northward will probably remain in the, uh, the rain. It may mix over to snow. We may see a mixture of rain and snow in many of these areas. That's your forecast on into Wednesday, which is going to be the big day for snow in New England. Bonnie? That's one to watch for sure. And we're not done covering the potential impacts with next week's storm. There's also the risk of severe storms and even tornadoes. Stay with us. We're going to talk more about that. Severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes joins us next. Home Advisor is a very easy way to find a home contractor, and for me, it's the only way. Home Advisor instantly connects you with top rated pros for any type of home project. If you need it, Home Advisor has it. And it's completely free. Go to homeadvisor.com now. Really? Do I even need life insurance? Well, final expenses can be very expensive. Without insurance, the financial burden of credit card debt and funeral costs may fall to your loved ones. Makes sense. But can I afford this kind of coverage? MetLife's rates are affordable, and you can choose the amount of coverage that fits your needs and budget. I've been turned down for insurance before. How is this any different? MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance is different. In fact, you cannot be turned down for health reasons. I'd like to get life insurance. <laughs> How do I even start? It's easy. You can apply in a single phone call with no medical questions or exams. Will my rates go up as I get older? Absolutely not. This coverage lasts for life. Your rates are guaranteed to never increase for the life of the policy, and your coverage will never decrease. Guaranteed? Guaranteed? Guaranteed. Yes, guaranteed. If you're age 50 to 75, MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance offers affordable coverage designed to help with final expenses, such as medical bills, credit card debt, and funeral costs. Coverage amounts range from $2,000 to $25,000. Rates start at less than $10 per month, and there are a variety of convenient payment options. And it's from MetLife. MetLife? From MetLife? That's right. Guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance from MetLife. In that case, I'm going to contact MetLife. MetLife makes it easy to get coverage that's affordable and reliable. Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance can help you get the protection your family needs and the peace of mind you deserve. Call 1-800-783-8155 to learn more about Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance. That's 1-800-783-8155. 1-800-783-8155. Wake up to the newsmakers. The power brokers, the candidates, absolutely, and the big personalities on today. It's time. Join our table. Hear it straight from the players. Is that right? And go inside the campaigns. Hi, In the race to the White House, wake up to everything that counts. Only on today. Currently in our area, 71 degrees under mostly cloudy skies with windy conditions. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 63, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Saturday, cloudy, high 74, winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. 
Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low 63, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. When the going gets tough, the tough keep pulling. All new episodes of Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Yeah! I am powered by protein. Milk has eight grams to help give you energy to unleash your potential. Start every day with Milk's Protein and Milk Life. There's a more enjoyable way to get your fiber. Try Philips Fiber Good Gummies Plus Energy Support. It's a new fiber supplement that helps support regularity and includes B vitamins to help convert food to energy. Mm, these are good. Nice work, Philips. The tasty side of fiber from Philips. Today, my mom has a cell phone she actually enjoys using, the Jitterbug. It's so easy to use. It has big buttons and a powerful speaker. And with Great Call's exclusive five-star service, one touch and you'll be immediately connected to five-star agents who can confirm your location and get you the help you need. Service starts at just $14.99 a month. Buy a Jitterbug today and you can get twice the monthly minutes for life at Best Buy, Rite Aid, or Sears. Love drama? Go on a first date. My passion is puppetry. Here? I think we're done here. Hate drama? Go to cars.com. Research, price, find. Only cars.com helps you get the right car without all the drama. Okay, people, what the f y'all? Well, did you see this video this week? This guy, he's driving into a tornado. Oh. I mean, I can't imagine. It's, this is in oh. South Florida. And he said he never even saw it coming until he was right on it. And this happened Tuesday morning in Pompano Beach, Florida. The tornado did quite a bit of damage and it was rated an EF1. It was one of 21 tornadoes earlier this week. Most of those were in Mississippi and in Florida. And Florida's really had a tough time they, with the tornado really so have, far. And I'm glad he's okay, you know, just driving straight into a rain wrapped tornado is no. Uh, yeah, that is scary. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, once again, the South has another chance for severe storms and tornadoes next week. Yeah, it comes with the warm side of our next winter storm. Let's get the details now on the timing and who's at risk. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, joins us from the lab. Greg? Thanks, Nick. And as you pointed out, we did have tornadoes on Monday and Tuesday of this week. Looks like probably Tuesday of the coming week will be the big day. What if they uh, do a little bit of contrast between the two? They'll be a little bit different. Uh, 21 confirmed, 23 maybe total. There were a couple more that were cited, but it didn't do any damage. Uh, that brings the month to uh, 35 or 59 percent above average. These tornadoes Monday and Tuesday of this week were mostly on Monday in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. And then on Tuesday, mostly in that Florida. North Carolina area. Now, here's what the weather pattern looked like on Monday. We had a pretty strong surface low. The warm front, in this case, was coming across central Mississippi over into central Georgia with a warm, moist Gulf of Mexico air coming up. And that low and that front were the focus for a lot of that activity. The upper level jet stream, the core of it, the cold pocket was over Oklahoma and Texas, but very, very sharp. And then there was a jet stream, a branch of that that came almost due east. So this feature uh, from th earlier this week is going to be a little bit farther west and maybe a little bit sharper than the one we're going to see in Tuesday. Here's what the upper level jet stream looks like. It's a big, broad upper level jet stream. And so that pushes the surface low farther to the east and a little bit closer to the Gulf of Mexico. Then it scoots north and east along that warm front. So they have that warm front, they have a surface low, they have an upper air feature in common, but differences in the sharpness of those features probably going to mean, at least at this point, that it looks like a little less of a tornado threat than the previous one, uh, but we'll have to wait and see as things get closer. That threat on Tuesday looks like it's going to be south and central Georgia, the Florida Panhandle, northeast Florida, and then parts of South Carolina, and maybe up into North Carolina. I'm thinking tornado condition index on a scale of 0 to 10, 3 for that area area of the central parts of the Florida Panhandle, south and central Georgia, over into south and central parts of South Carolina, twos farther east in Florida and up into the North Carolina area where it's not quite so sure the ingredients will come together. Now, this is an interesting overall pattern. I've used a European model here to show this. Uh, there's some slight differences between that and the American. There are these up 
upper disturbances that go scooting across too far north to really tap into that Gulf of Mexico moisture. So we don't really get until Tuesday when features begin to get far enough south that we tap into that. One, it's a, actually a one-two punch though. The leading one is the one that looks like it'll be the main threat for Tuesday. Some chance as the second one comes in on Wednesday that we could wind up though having maybe something coming across the Florida panhandle. Here's the big dip. It gets a little bit more kink than the European model here on Tuesday uh, and into Wednesday as it heads toward the area and a surface low scoots across the region. So we'll continue to keep you up to date on all of this and see how it evolves. Our producer uh, said that he'd give me a dollar if I tossed it back to Bonnie and Clyde, but I think maybe I better toss it back to Bonnie and Nick just to say. <laughs> Good job, Dr. Forrest. I'll give you a dollar not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks, Greg. Hey, we've got a great day shaping outside in the meantime across the south. we got the threat of storms coming Tuesday, but it's beautiful. Wow. I mean, 63 degrees and sunny in February, looking fantastic. Raleigh as well, 53 degrees. And we've got a nice day shaping up for Saturday. A little rain coming in for some of us, though, by Sunday. Legend says Thor's hand made a hammer mighty. Well, in some hands, every tool becomes mighty. An all-powerful impact wrench. A supreme on-car lathe. The 4,000 ASE certified technicians of Firestone Complete Auto Care prove the tool's only as good as the hands behind it. Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. I've suffered for 18 years with dry, cracked hands. In the winter in Chicago, it's dry, it's cold, makes my hands even worse. O'Keefe's Working Hands. Guaranteed relief for dry, cracked hands. My hands feel better. I finally found relief. Learn more at O'Keefe'sCompany.com. Have you tried O'Keefe's? Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon, then quickly fell back to earth, landing on the roof of a Dutch colonial. Luckily, Geico recently helped the residents with homeowner's insurance. They were able to get the roof repaired like new. They later sold the cow because they had all become lactose intolerant. Call Geico and see how much you could save on homeowner's insurance. Before there could be a nation, there had to be people willing to fight for it, to take on the world's greatest challenges, whatever they might be. So the U.S. Army masters not only tactics and strategy, but also physics and chemistry. We make battle plans and create breakthroughs in medicine, science, and engineering. Our next mission could be anything, so we prepare for everything. Looks like you've got a prescription to fill. The exact same drug that's $10 at this pharmacy is $150 at this one. GoodRx finds prices and discount coupons on every prescription. Just input the drug name and instantly find savings at virtually every pharmacy in America. Here's my prescription, and I have a coupon from GoodRx. Go to GoodRx.com and compare, print, and save for free. Stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Print your free coupon at GoodRx.com today. A little down to Weather Underground, weeknights at 6, on the Weather Channel. At the Watershed, we believe in recovery. We believe that every alcoholic and addict deserves the opportunity to be healed. Our team of addiction professionals will address the underlying causes of your addiction while treating you with dignity and respect. We've helped thousands of patients recover from this seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. Addicts can recover. Addicts do recover. No matter how hopeless the situation seems, the time to get help is now. Call the watershed today. <coughs> Cough tires you and everyone around. During a cold, excess phlegm can build up in your lungs and keep you coughing. To stop cough, you have to get the excess phlegm out. Tacol is a powerful multi-symptom cold syrup that helps eject phlegm. Tacol's triple action quiets cough, clears airways, and gets rid of phlegm with a productive cough that relieves you. For phlegm and cough relief, this is my guarantee, or your money back. To Cole, the phlegm ejector at Walgreens. When the going gets tough, the tough keep pulling. Oh, oh, oh. All new episodes of Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 10 on The Weather Channel. Yeah!
Currently in our area, 74 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 63, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Saturday, cloudy, high 74, winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low 63, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Okay, you think your house is cluttered. It's nothing like this. This man just seems to disappear into the tumbleweeds. It's not just bad at this house. It's all over the town in Australia. The problem is so bad it has a name, Harry Panic. It's summer here now, and thanks to the dry weather, the tumbleweed grew to practically cover the entire town. Residents try to clear it away, and it just keeps coming back. It's a good name for it. Harry Panic. <laughs> <laughs> well, back here in the U.S., we've had our own wild weather this week. Check out the high winds that caused sparks to fly on this power pole. This video is from Salt Lake City yesterday. Winds gusted up to 70 miles per hour, closing roads and knocking out power. The National Weather Service reported a peak gust of 106 mm. miles per hour at Ogden Peak. Winds gusted all over the Intermountain West. Mm -hmm. the outside Casper, Wyoming, strong winds blew over a semi-truck. The driver crawled out, wasn't hurt. Officially, the winds gusted to 63 miles per hour in the area yesterday. Windy weather yesterday and today, and the U.S. is known for our unusual range of extreme weather, including tornadoes, record-breaking cold, and soaring temperatures. Our own Dave Malkoff explains why America's weather is unlike anywhere else in the world. How is it possible to have so many different kinds of weather going on at the same time in the same country? These are the weather alerts we've seen over the past several days. Basically, a little bit of everything, depending on where you live. It is kind of exciting for meteorologists to see this. We're lucky to have Dr. Greg Forbes and Tom Nizzle to explain it for us. We have the Gulf of Mexico, we have the Pacific Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean. So I think what you're saying is the United States is not flat like this. It's got texture to it. Oh yeah, it's not flat by any means, and in fact we all know when we take geography class that the United States has things called mountain ranges. And so what effectively does is it breaks the U.S. into thirds. In the western U.S. here, not a lot of cold air makes it down because the Rockies block that out. On the eastern side of the mountain, the Appalachians block most of the cold air, so it leaves the central U.S. Wow, so this is all one section of the country that just gets all this air from the Gulf just pushed up into it, right? Yeah, it sure does. Also also has an unimpeded path here for the air from the Arctic to come down out of Canada. There's right no across. mountains up here. Nothing sitting yeah. here. This is all plain so that Arctic air can meet all of that moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and you end up with either severe weather in the warm air or some major winter storms in the cold air. And no other large countries on the planet are like the U.S. in that way. There are some countries that get severe weather. Our mountain ranges are north-south ranges. So let's just play around, Tom. Let's pretend like we can peel the Rockies off of here and peel the Appalachians off of here and make a giant Himalayan mountain range here. What would happen to the United States if it had the Himalayas here? Oh yeah, it would cut off this major source of moisture that comes out of the Gulf of Mexico. It effectively would almost turn this area into a desert in some respects. And without that Gulf of Mexico moisture, nowhere near as much severe weather on the warm side. And certainly without the moisture, not much in the way of winter weather, just really cold here in the winter. But that's not the way it is. We have one mountain range here and one mountain range there, so we have three separate countries going on at the same time. And it makes the United States one of the greatest natural laboratories to study the weather on Earth. There's always something happening. Absolutely. Well, one of the big weather concerns this afternoon is fire danger. Coming up, who's at risk and for how long? 
an amazing video you have to see. Go inside a grass fire with Missouri firefighters. Hi, you've reached Emma. I'm out of the office right now, but we'll get back to you just as soon as I possibly can. Your call is important to me. Join Princess Cruises for exclusive Discovery at Sea experiences. Limited Caribbean fares from 549. Call your travel consultant or visit princess.com. Princess Cruises, come back new. Looking for 24-7 digestive support? Try a line for a non-stop sweet treat goodness. Hold on to your tiara kind of day. Live 24-7 with 24-7 digestive support. Try a line, the undisputed number one GE recommended probiotic. Why is it we love superheroes? And why is it we always put capes on them and make them fly? Truth is, some heroes don't fly. They drive trucks. And they show up when you need them most. Face your worst case scenarios and stay at your side through every step. When you don't know what to do next, we do. We're Service Master Restore, every disaster's worst nightmare. Attention users of the blood thinners Xarelto and Prodaxa. Xarelto and Prodaxa have been linked to internal bleeding. If you took Xarelto or Prodaxa and suffered uncontrolled bleeding, or if a loved one died after taking one of these drugs, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. I'm attorney Bob Goldwater. If you or a loved one took Xarelto or Prodaxa and were then hospitalized for internal bleeding, call us right now. You may be entitled to substantial compensation. The makers of these drugs may be to blame for your internal bleeding. You deserve to be paid for what you've been through. Call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. You may be entitled to substantial compensation. The makers of Pradaxa have agreed to pay $650 million in settlements. If you took Pradaxa or Zarelto and were injured, call us right now. Call now to see if you qualify. Call 1-800-810-7500. That's 1-800-810-7500. 1-800-810-7500. I've always been protective of my little sister. But when she got cancer, she was the strong one. She learned while she needed chemo. It could weaken my immune system. But then you found out about Nulasta. Right. Nulasta helps reduce infection risk by boosting your white blood cell count, which strengthens your immune system. In a key study, Nulasta reduced the risk of infection from 17% to 1%, a 94% decrease. Nulasta is for certain cancer patients receiving strong chemotherapy. Do not take Nulaster if you're allergic to Nulaster or Nupigen. Ruptured spleen, sometimes fatal, as well as serious lung problems, allergic reactions, kidney injuries, and capillary leak syndrome have occurred. Report abdominal or shoulder tip pain, trouble breathing, allergic reactions, puffiness in face or ankles, change in urine, swelling of stomach area, feeling of fullness, dizziness, or feeling faint to your doctor right away. In patients with sickle cell disorders, serious, sometimes fatal crises can occur. The most common side effect is bone and muscle ache. Ellie's strong, but she still needs help. Yeah, I do. Ask your doctor about New Lasta. Wake up to the newsmakers, the power brokers, the candidates, absolutely, and the big personalities on today. It's time. Join our table. Hear it straight from the players and go inside the campaigns in the race to the White House. Wake up to everything that counts. Only on today. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 63, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Saturday, cloudy, high 74, winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low 63, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook.
Many Americans are sure to have spring fever with the weather we've had at the center of the country. Here's a live look at Midland, Texas, with temperatures in the 80s. Venita, Oklahoma, you're in the 70s. Louisville, Kentucky, into the 60s. Nobody's complaining too much, though. Half past the hour on Weather Center Live, I'm Nick Walker. And I'm Bonnie Schneider. The weekend looks great for a large part of the country, but things start to get active on Sunday with the first impacts of our next big storm system. This one could bring rain, snow, ice, and wind to the east next week, but the exact details, well, they remain uncertain. So we're going to show you what we know coming up. But first, we continue following the high fire danger due to strong winds in the plains. Check out this video from yesterday near Kansas City. And the fire NATO created by those whipping winds gusting at over 40 miles per hour. It happened as crews were battling a grass fire that grew to 1,300 acres. And take a look at another video from this fire. It gives you a close-up look right on the front lines as firefighters are just feet away from the flames. These trucks go out with water tanks in the bed, and that's what allows the firefighters to get so close. If things get out of control, they can hop in the truck and then speed out there. It's really incredible to see up close what they face. And of course, Nick, they do an amazing job. I tell you what, it, it is just a, sometimes a thankless job that they have to deal with out there. And the weather does not help. We appreciate all that they do. Critical fire danger day around Kansas City. They've had so many fires in that area. And back around North Platte, Nebraska as well. These are areas that you want to be extra careful with any kind of lit cigarettes, matches. Probably don't even want to barbecue outside in weather like this. We've got wind advisories throughout much of this region all the way over towards Chicago which is actually under a high wind warning. And the, uh, the Willis Tower, by the way, closed because of the winds today. Back toward Nebraska, even into uh, Wyoming and Montana, we've got high wind warnings as well. Watch out, there could be damaging winds with this. Trees, you know, branches coming down on the roadways, it could be big, big time tough stuff. Look at the winds around Detroit with 36 miles per hour. Chicago's at 25, Rapid City at 34. But bear in mind, these are sustained winds and the gusts could go much higher than this, and that could really spread fire if it gets started. Temperatures are warm here around the Central Plains. Houston's at 80, Dallas is at 77, Oklahoma City's at 74. We're in the 60s here at Lexington and Atlanta, still in the 50s around Raleigh, but we are going to find a lot of warmth, not just today, but coming this weekend too, as we have the jet stream well toward the north. This southerly wind, very brisk wind, continuing to keep things very windy and very warm here around the south central plains. As that cold air stays northward all the way through the weekend, we're going to see more warmth all the way from the southwest into the southeast and Florida too, with high temperatures 10 to 30 degrees above average over much of this area here, particularly where you see the orange colors. That's where we're going to see those warmest temperatures. Here across the south tomorrow, expect to see above average temperatures, above average by 9, 10, 11, 12 degrees or more. On into Sunday, we'll still see those above average temperatures as well. Lots of 60s, lots of 70s. Florida, <laughs> going to be a warm time here for your February. Nashville, remember how cold it was last weekend? The actual lows were down into the 20s. Well, say goodbye to that for a while. 64 degrees for your high tomorrow in Nashville. And then we'll stair step the temperatures down just a little bit, getting closer to average by the time we get into the first of the week. And then pretty much well below average by Wednesday as we return those temperatures to the mid 40s. So enjoy the warmth while we've got it, if you like warmth, that is. Bye. Oh, absolutely. And we do like it warm in New Orleans, that's for sure. This is Jackson Square, and it looks great. Lots of people are out and about. I'm sure not just the tourists, but folks that live and work in the area. Why not? When it feels this good in February, enjoy it. But keep in mind, they are looking at some showers in New Orleans and across the Gulf Coast and a good portion of the south through the weekend. It's Friday. We need to tell you what's ahead for the weekend. So here we are right now, our satellite looking clear in Atlanta, Charleston, New Orleans, back out to Houston. But things are going to change. Here's our cold front. It'll eventually work its way to the southeast with a limited amount of moisture. We're not looking at torrential downpours, but we are looking at rain. As that front stalls, the moisture comes up from the Gulf of Mexico. It has nowhere else to go, so we'll see rain in southern Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and even into Houston, Texas. This week, disturbance will only enhance things into early next week as it moves to the east. Well, it'll just sit there along that front, and unfortunately, that will still continue to bring out some rain. So if you can enjoy today and Saturday and even most of 
Sunday, you should be fine. So Sunday, there's the rain, not quite at the Gulf Coast, but into Tennessee and into Kentucky. Then by the time we get to Monday, more widespread showers and even thunderstorms into San Antonio. We'll watch out for that. By Tuesday, pushes even into Florida. Florida, you've had such a wet winter so far. More rain is ahead, not immediately, but it's coming by Tuesday. And we may even see that wintry mix into the mountains of North Carolina and into Virginia. So it's still feeling like winter eventually. Scattered showers and thunderstorms as well into Huntsville, Memphis, and Nashville. The rain totals one to two inches in some spots, but keep in mind through Tuesday afternoon, we could see into central and northern Louisiana, a couple inches, maybe even three inches of rain. So there will be wet weather that accumulates. And there's that New Orleans forecast for you. We showed you Jackson Square right now. By Sunday, it's overcast, mostly cloudy. Then the chance of storms exists for Monday and into Tuesday. Oh boy, but at least the sun is back out and the temperatures are back up into the 70s. So we can get through a couple days. We'll be looking at some more improved conditions out there. Keep in mind that this will be short lived for Monday. So most of the weekend actually looks good. Nick. All right, thanks so much, Bonnie. Well, with this next storm, we are talking about, we've been right on track with storm names compared to the previous years. We've actually had 15 named storms. Petros will be number 16, and it could happen next week. Yeah, we've got a storm system that has a lot of question marks on it. You know, we, we like to talk about what we know, but sometimes we have to talk about what we don't know as well, because we got a forecast that's a little bit like maybe some relationships you've been in. It's complicated, okay? Here's the complication we're talking about. We've got the US model, the GFS model here, which shows the area of low pressure that's going to be associated with this next storm well up into the Northeast by the time we get into Wednesday morning. But the timing is a little bit different on a reliable model that we often come to rely on, and that's the European model. And there's actually two areas of low pressure. The European model has a little bit of trouble sort of, you know, bringing these together right off the bat, whereas the GFS has a tendency to bring them together a little bit more. So we got one over the south, one over the mid-Atlantic, and then the complications arise too where the cold air is. Because, you know, where you've got the cold air and the moisture meeting up, that's where you're going to find the snowfall, where you've got, uh, you know, the cold air, maybe a little bit more inland and moisture out toward the coast. Looks like just rain. Right now, it looks like probably either model showing up with rain along the I-95 corridor here and most of the snow in the inland and northern areas. That's the way it looks right now. We, we, you know, we can't rule out snow, at least at times, in some of the big cities around the northeast, but it looks like mostly a rain event right now. But you're gonna have to watch this space. I mean, we got several days to talk about between now and Wednesday. And as these models are ever-changing, we could see an ever-changing forecast as well. So there's the European model, shows that cold air well uh, up toward the north and inland. And as this area of low pressure continues to hug the coastline, we might see a little bit more of that snowfall in the inland areas than uh, what we might see otherwise. But it will be rainfall here around the Carolinas with some of the mountains here, the Appalachians, getting maybe a rain and snow mix. We'll see more of that snowfall up in the higher elevations, of course, than down low. But right now, it looks like by Tuesday, rain moving into Norfolk, into Washington, D.C., New York, right on the borderline between rain and snow. But right now, probably more rain than anything else. The snow staying inland. And Wednesday, we're going to find more of that snowfall up into the Green and White Mountains. And Boston expected to get some of that as well. Bye. Well, Nick, spring already feels like it's here across many states, but what will the next season hold for us? We have a brand new spring outlook that debuted earlier today, and we're going to show you that. And while winter is still in full effect in California, people are digging out elsewhere. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 63, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Saturday, cloudy, high 74, winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low 63, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. These 
Scenes at a hospital in Central Africa may look like an emergency, but at Save the Children, we see this throughout the world every single day. Among the new arrivals is Kayembi. So frail, he can no longer stand. Kayembi is almost two years old, but his weight is less than half that of a healthy child his age. Kayembi is slowly dying. He needs food, and he needs medicine urgently. These are the basic things that you can help us provide by calling the number on your screen now and giving just $10 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. We know what it takes to save lives. It takes us, you, and as little as $10 a month. Save the Children is on the ground in the U.S. and all over the world. But we need your help to deliver life-saving medicine, medical care, clean water, and nutritious food to children in desperate need. For a child as critically ill as Kayembi, a single phone call can make the difference. Please, pick up the phone now. For less than 35 cents a day, you can help us save a child's life. Call now and you'll receive this special Save the Children tote bag as a thank you for your support and a reminder of the difference you're making in children's lives. Every day, 19,000 children die from preventable causes. That's one child every five seconds. But it doesn't have to be this way. For just $10 a month, you can make a difference. Please, don't put this off. We need your help to get these children the critical medicine, food, and clean water they urgently need. Aussi, il n'y a pas assez de nourriture à donner aux enfants. Les enfants vont mourir. Call Save the Children now and help us save a child's life. Really, do I even need life insurance? Well, final expenses can be very expensive. Without insurance, the financial burden of credit card debt and funeral costs may fall to your loved ones. Makes sense, but can I afford this kind of coverage? MetLife's rates are affordable, and you can choose the amount of coverage that fits your needs and budget. I've been turned down for insurance before. How is this any different? MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance is different. In fact, you cannot be turned down for health reasons. I'd like to get life insurance. <laughs> How do I even start? It's easy. You can apply in a single phone call with no medical questions or exams. Will my rates go up as I get older? Absolutely not. This coverage lasts for life. Your rates are guaranteed to never increase for the life of the policy, and your coverage will never decrease. Guaranteed? Guaranteed? Guaranteed. Yes, guaranteed. If you're age 50 to 75, MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance offers affordable coverage designed to help with final expenses, such as medical bills, credit card debt, and funeral costs. Coverage amounts range from $2,000 to $25,000. Rates start at less than $10 per month, and there are a variety of convenient payment options. And it's from MetLife. MetLife? From MetLife? That's right. Guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance from MetLife. In that case, I'm going to contact MetLife. MetLife makes it easy to get coverage that's affordable and reliable. Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance can help you get the protection your family needs and the peace of mind you deserve. Call 1-800-796-8445 to learn more about Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance. That's 1-800-796-8445. 1-800-796-8445. Check out this cool video. This is a time lapse of an ice flow at Kennebec River in Augusta, Maine. The river is jammed with ice, and that's causing flooding on the nearby streets. This tends to happen as temperatures warm up and the ice melts. Well, police say the water has not affected the buildings nearby, so that's good. Well, ice jams are another sign that spring is on the way, and we're getting a better look at what to expect. Yeah, the brand new spring outlook was released earlier today on AMHQ, and it looks like the cold may try to hang on. Here are the details from Dr. Greg Postel. Here's March forecast from uh, the Weather Channel company. And so what we've got is an expectation of below average temperatures in the south and above average temperatures in the north as a monthly average, right? So it doesn't mean every day is going to be like that. 
How did we get there? Well, historically, the couple of very strong El Ninos that we have to draw upon, one was back in March of 1983. The map looked like this. So keep that in your mind, in your back pocket when you sort of add all this together. Colder, colder, colder. A lot of cold. Kind of cold. I mean, cold in the south and kind of warm in the north back in March where we had a strong El Nino in 83. There was also a strong El Nino in 1998, which also was kind of cold in Looks the south. Similar. Similar-ish, right? But they all have their different flavors. A little warm in the north. So you have those two pieces of the puzzle, but there's one more. We actually have models, very sort of uh, seasonal forecasting models that don't try to forecast the details, but try to get the big picture. And that for March, this so is called the, opposite. Right, called the CSV2. Has obviously the warmth in the north, but really no cooling in mm. the south. So what do you do when you're faced with all this? You've got Average. the historical analogs, and you've got a model telling you something else. You kind of blend them together a little bit, and when you do that, you end up with our forecast here, which does mm. have the kind of the warm in the north and maybe a little cooler in the south, yeah. but not as cold. If I'm a betting man, you know that. I would say that it is not likely to be, the risk in this forecast is it for it to be uh, at least average, if not above average in March in the south. We've seen that be, basically be true all season long. There's no reason to depart from that now. Right. Well, that's what's ahead in March, but what's ahead over the next seven days? Well, tomorrow we're looking at the potential for some snow into northern New England, but much of the country still feeling the effects of this warmth. So it's really warm as we go through much of the day. Uh, look towards Sunday, not bad at all. A little bit of rain, though, as we head across the south, but mild temperatures into Denver. Chicago, you're up to 40 degrees. And then Monday, things get a little dicey in the south. Look at the rain spreading from Houston to Atlanta across Birmingham and some snow for the Mountain West. Temperatures though are looking pretty good by the time we get to Monday 43 degrees in New York City after a warmer weekend so it is cooling down but still comfortable 59 in Atlanta with rain on Tuesday and then Minneapolis you're looking at 42 degrees but the potential still exists for some snow in northern Minnesota getting warm again above average in Los Angeles temperatures 80 degrees, 82 as we look to the middle of the week. And we're also tracking the potential of a winter storm Wednesday. By Thursday, though, we'll start to see those conditions push up to the northeast. So that's where we could see a little more wintry weather as we head towards upstate New York. But notice how warm the temperatures are into Dallas, 68 degrees. And in Chicago, 37, that's not bad at all. 56 and dry in Atlanta. But it's really Tuesday and Wednesday we're going to watch the potential for stormy conditions across much of the east. And into Miami, we'll look for a temperature of 72 degrees. Look Looking really warm, as I mentioned. So overall, that's really the weather makers we're watching Tuesday into Wednesday, Thursday, looking a lot calmer and a lot drier across the country. So that's some good news. For Friday, we have 58 degrees for Atlanta and 68 for Dallas, 31 for Minneapolis, below freezing. And into the Northeast, temperatures are getting closer to normal, right at 43 degrees for New York City. Notice Miami is dry with a current temperature warming up eventually to 73. Nick? All right, thanks, Bonnie. Well, you've heard the phrase, the show must go on. Well, except for one winter storm this winter, it has on Broadway. But the weather can take a toll on the actors and performers. Up next, see how the Great Wide Way battles cold weather. Your brain is an amazing thing, but as you get older, it naturally begins to change, causing a lack of sharpness or even trouble with recall. Thankfully, the breakthrough in Prevagen helps your brain and actually improves memory. The secret is an ingredient originally discovered in jellyfish. In clinical trials, Prevagen has been shown to improve short-term memory. Prevagen, the name to remember. Lowe's presents How to Find the Perfect Match. Wow, they're so perfect together. It's like they were made for each other. They were. By the experts at HGTV? Right. Our best paint and primer in one starting at $23.98 at Lowe's.
A good meteorologist friend gave me the nickname Dew Point Diva, which is my favorite weather piece of data. But I love dew points and I try to spread the love about uh, how useful they are because that's the actual measure of moisture in the air. And if you start to look at the dew point every day and you realize when the dew point is in the 60s and 70s, it's sticky and humid. And when the dew point is in the 20s and teens, it's so dry you can't drink enough water and you can't put on enough chapstick. Then you realize how important that dew point is. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 63, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Saturday, cloudy, high 74, winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low 63, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Fast heartburn relief? Try Cool Mint Zantac. It releases a cooling sensation in your mouth and throat. Zantac works in as little as 30 minutes. Nexium can take 24 hours. Try Cool Mint Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Inside every business, the right information doesn't always get into the right hands. Johnson makes how much? Son of a... Betty, do you know how much Johnson makes? Let Brother customize an office solution that ensures your confidential information stays that way. We'll equip you with authorized access for paper and digital documents, putting peace of mind at your side. Betty! Betty! Now everyone who uses catheters can get a better catheter with Liberator Medical's free catheter sample pack. These new catheters are better than ever, easier to use, more convenient, comfortable, virtually pain-free. Don't wait. Call now and get your free catheter sample pack. There's the all-new compact catheter for women. Pre-lubricated, no drips, no mess, fits in your purse. The self-lubricated catheter. It lubricates itself in the package. Comfortable, no mess. The closed system catheter, pre-lubricated with its own collection bag, proven to reduce UTIs. The discreet pocket catheter, curved to fit in your pocket to go anywhere. The polished eyelet catheter for micro-smooth comfort, reduces friction and pain. Call now. We'll also bill Medicare and your insurance for you. Call for your free catheter sample pack with free shipping. Call Liberator Medical. Call 1-800-601-3450. That's 1-800-601-3450. You know me as Nota Begay III, golf analyst for NBC Sports and Golf Channels and founder of the MB3 Foundation. But my favorite title is Champion for Kids Health. I'm living my dream and I want to make that possible for all children. We must give kids what they need to become teachers, artists, doctors, even golfers. But dreams can get lost if our kids aren't healthy. And right now in our country, one in three kids are obese. We must do better. Join me. Help all kids live healthy now so they can build healthy futures. Hey, how's it going? Hotcakes? Hotcakes. This place has hotcakes. Hotcakes. So why aren't they selling like hotcakes? With Comcast Business Internet and Wi-Fi Pro, they could be. Just add a customized message to your Wi-Fi Pro splash page, and you'll reach your customers where their eyes are already, on their devices. Order up. It's more than just Wi-Fi. It can help grow your business. You don't see that every day. Introducing Wi-Fi Pro. Wi-Fi that helps grow your business. Comcast Business. Built for business. When the going gets tough, the tough keep pulling. All new episodes of Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 10 on The Weather Channel. Yeah! Well, many Broadway actors spend years struggling to get to the Great White Way, but when temperatures plunge, performers are put to the test. Yeah, Broadway's best have the tools and talent to cope with the harsh New York winters. We recently caught up with several of them. My name is Mamie Paris. And I play Patty in School of Rock on Broadway. He's a freeloader and he needs to pay some rent. Wake up, Dewey! Hi, my name is Luca Padigan. And I play Billy the Stylist in School of Rock.
Little Rock the Musical on Broadway. But I promise one day I'll make you hear. My name is Teal Wick. And I play Mary Berry at in Finding Neverland at the Lunt Fontan Theater. Anyone who's, anyone who's the cold outside makes it just a little bit more uh, of a battle. It's cold. It's February. It's New York. On cold weather like this, gradually warming yourself up throughout the day in sort of small sessions would probably prove to be more beneficial. It's too cold for this. Oh, well. No matter how much you warm up, you step outside and your entire body shifts. But I think when you're a performer and your body is your instrument, you are even more attuned to the change. It's different for everybody, but for me, I can definitely notice if I haven't warmed up or if I warmed up. Because then you crack and it's not good. Staying hydrated, I think, is uh, a big challenge for everybody, but particularly for the performer. Drinking lots of water, uh, using a humidifier in your dressing room. My humidifier, always, always. You can never have too much moisture. The cold weather is the worst, and the only thing that's worse than cold weather is heat. The most imperative thing I find as a performer is having a humidifier, having some form of steam in the room, and then just staying hydrated, drinking a lot of water. It is nine degrees outside. It's like ice. I don't want to go outside. I'm going to stay here and do a Broadway show instead. Water seems to be the key for sure. Absolutely. Well, there's no need to warm up from the Great Lakes to the Gulf with temperatures well above average here. Yeah, even to the East Coast, many Americans have spring fever. Our own Mike Seidel is in Atlanta and explains this weekend will be great <laughs> to get outdoors and enjoy some warmth. I know a lot of you would like to forget about last weekend's weather if you live east of the Mississippi. For some of you, it was the coldest in 20 years. New York City down to one below zero. The highs in Chicago only in the mid-teens. Well, things have turned around dramatically this week and for this weekend. All that Pacific air coming into play. Phoenix hitting 90 for the first time a couple of days ago. Yesterday, Goodland, Kansas, get this, hitting 82 degrees, breaking the daily record by 8 degrees, smashing it. And it was the warmest February day on record in Goodland. Also, 30 six degrees above average. In fact, today, 140 million Americans, that's 44% of us, will see temperatures at least 10 degrees above average, mostly in the middle third of the country. Back here in Atlanta, not too shabby yesterday either. Here in Piedmont Park, take a look. Everybody was out soaking up the sunshine and a perfect day. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. It was frosty in the morning, but the afternoon high topped out at 61. That's four degrees above average. And no matter who we talk to here in the park, the bottom line is they are ready for this kind of weather and spring to come on fast. Well, I saw that it was going to be above 60, and it's been so cold lately. We've been inside a lot, so we wanted to get out. Well, I didn't look at the forecast. I looked out the window. <laughs> uh, today feels like spring is coming. The weather's perfect. This is great. Awesome weather. It's kind of like a day to get away from it all, which is nice. They will get their wish this weekend here in the southeast and up the eastern seaboard. Here in Atlanta, we're looking for a high today with all the sunshine in the mid-60s. And then for the weekend, heading into the upper 60s, about 10 degrees above average. We will see clouds increasing tomorrow, and there could be a few showers around by Sunday. And for those of you checking in from uh, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, and Boston, where it was just bitterly cold last weekend, highs will be in the 50s to near 60 in the nation's capital. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel in Piedmont Park in Atlanta. Back to you. Wow, he was the place to be today. <laughs> what are you doing out inside today? Take the TV out on the deck. That's true. And most of the country may be warm and windy this weekend, but not everyone. There's snow falling in the higher elevations of the west this afternoon. This is video from the California Sierra. And there's another risk of snow for the eastern seaboard next week. We're watching this closely, and you should too. The latest forecast just minutes away. Stay with us. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 63, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. 
Saturday, cloudy, high 74. Winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low 63. Winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook.